Pastor Dan here uh, with devotions again for this week. We're starting uh, on April 28th, which is day 17 of Easter, and we are continuing our devotions out of Seeking God's Face um, and uh, by Philip Reinders. And our invitation for this week comes from John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26, in which Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Take a moment to just be quiet and hear that invitation. Our Bible psalm for today is Psalm 81, verses 8 to 16. Hear me, my people, and I will warn you. If you would only listen to me, Israel, you shall have no foreign god among you. <clears throat> you shall not worship any other, any god other than me. I am the Lord your God, who brought you up out of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people would not listen to me. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own desires. If my people would only listen to me, if Israel would only follow my ways, how quickly I would subdue their enemies and turn my head against their foes. Those that, who hate the Lord would cringe before him, and their punishment would last forever. But you would be fed with the finest of wheat, with honey from the rock. I would satisfy you. Our Bible reading today comes from Luke chapter 24, verses 36 to 43. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet, and while they were still not while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it, and ate in their presence. I think for me what pops out today is that if we only believe if we only listen to God then he will he will fill our cups with the finest uh, finest wine and wheat with honey from the rock that God our Heavenly Father and Jesus his son and the Holy Spirit, great three in one, they long to fill us with every good thing. If we would just believe. And we're of course not talking about material possessions or stuff. We're talking about being filled with the presence of God, with his love, with his wisdom, with his righteousness and holiness and justice and mercy and being filled with all those good things. Let us pray. Christ, the go-between God, who can blame the disbelief of the disciples? If a person dies, I don't expect to see her walking again or sitting down to a meal. 
You bled and suffered, died and were buried, yet rose from the dead with that same body, with its healed wounds and working digestive system. And with that same body you now reign in glory, with your scarred hands lifted. Pray for me, Jesus. Amen. Now receive God's blessing for today. Grace to all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.